It was big. That was the thing. It weighed uh, 540,000 pounds, all out ghost weight. It was 189 feet long, much, much bigger than this. Way bigger. It, it was more like the size that uh, we thought our supersonic transport was going to be. The cockpit was located way out in front of the nose wheel. How was it to uh, taxi a, a machine like that? Well, you had to you had to learn a little bit because you you went by if you wanted to make a left 90 degree left turn as an example. Your cockpit went well beyond the turn point because your your nose wheel was so far aft behind you, and then you made the turn and uh, hoped you judged it correctly. But after a little experience, uh, you got so you could do it very nicely. How was it to fly? Uh, good, but uh, busy flight. All mm -hmm. every flight was every moment was packed. And uh, uh, we used the B-58 to chase it many times up to Mach 2, but once it got above Mach 2 or twice the speed of sound, then, of course, the B-58 was left well behind. But uh, we used the control room the whole time that they talked, you know, they followed us and talked us through a lot of the maneuvers. But uh, the actual handling qualities were generally pretty good. series of tests that the pilot was doing or you were doing and the control room was uh, expecting you to answer and and coordinate these things uh, as they called them out and in the meantime you were navigating over at Mach 3 you're doing uh, you know 30 miles a minute